Y'all show Liz Ghetto. Allegedly. The world's finest man. The Ghetto Ways Morning Show. <laughs> With Johnny Domino and Big Data. Shout out to the pastor, man. I told him I'm gonna put this shit on wear it like a plus size model. That's, that's right. <laughs> we, we we doing we we promoting what you what you want. Let's yeah. get it. Let's go. As long as it's righteous though, D. As long as it's we promoting what you put on, as long as it's righteous. Thank y'all for tuning in to the Getaways Morning Show. I'm your host, Johnny Domino. And for those who've never been here before, what's your name, lady? I am Big Dana. <laughs> That's right, the biggest thing that you've ever met, seen, or ever heard of. I'm telling y'all right now, we getting it in. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I'm gonna shut the fuck up like you be telling me today. Oh, gonna shut the fuck up. I'm gonna shut the fuck up because guess what? What's that? I wanna hear all about your weekend. Your week. week. Excuse me, yeah, say it right. I wanna know all about your weekend. And, and let, let's go ahead and do it how we always do it. First of all, I'm happy for. Uh, Ah, clear thinking. You know what I mean? Uh, growth. I'm very thankful for growth and understanding of certain things. Uh, I'm so blessed to be able to react differently to, to everything. Good, bad, and in between. That's what I'm thankful for. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. And I'm thankful for, um, you know, just, just new grace, new mercy. Nothing that I could control is all, you know, all on my Heavenly Father. And uh, I'm thankful my kids are, are alive and well, you know, doing good in a right state of mind. Amen. And I'm, But I'm mostly thankful for peace. Right. Peace, you cannot put a price on that, you know, mm-hmm. so I'm, I'm very thankful for peace. Yeah, you got like a little glow to oh, you, yeah. man. Oh, yeah, yes, definitely. <laughs> and I know you ain't pregnant, so it's oh, all no, good. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody but my dumb ass still making cheering. <laughs> I'm the last old nigga still with the bullshit. Shit, I'm old as a bitch. <clears throat> it's nothing like my daddy. So, if it's, if, it's in the co- if it's in the wheel, it's in this wheel. That's just what it is. I'm the 13th child, D, on my daddy's side. Really? Yeah, you ain't know that, huh? No, you told me he had a lot. My daddy got 25. Oh, shit. Pop, sit down with that little 13. They know that chopper. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Not a 22. Pew, pew, pew. That nigga about, <laughs> think got about five, six baby mama. It's a bunch of, then he made me in his 50s. Oh, you old man, baby. I'm an old man, baby. That make a lot of sense. I got a, I got a brother. <laughs> The first, me and the first child don't get along. Me and that nigga be kind of into it. <laughs> and I love him, you know what I'm saying? That's my blood brother, but we be into it. That nigga like, what that nigga finna be, 70? Wow. My oldest brother. That's, that's he either amazing. finna be 60 or 70. I forgot what he told me. I got older siblings like that. Yeah, I think that nigga might be like, might be finna be 70. And I got younger siblings. My younger sibling, I think she's 28. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I went to school <laughs> when I went met that nigga. I went to school with one of my nephews, <laughs> my sister's son. Ain't that something? Yeah, that shit wild. Your nephew. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's, it's important that we get to know, like especially if your daddy didn't have outside children or other children. It's important for you to have a relationship with your with your siblings. Yeah. Like my grandmother say, oh, big, come down here, get to talk to you, let me get you to meet your brother. Creole folk. Yeah, let me get you to meet your brother, because 
I don't want y'all to have retarded babies down the line. <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't from down here, you're going to think some of them Creole people retarded the way they talk yeah, with that broken that's, French. That's, that's that thick accent. Mm-hmm. My mama and them be on there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they used to talk, that. they used to say them curse words, trying not to let us hear the curse words. Um, I remember some of them. My grandma couldn't speak a better English. Yeah. 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 Man, that's crazy. Hey, you know, really, <laughs> if you look at it, man, my daddy, you know, that nigga was on some R. Kelly shit because he started messing with mom when he was like 20 something. He was 50 something. That ain't R. Kelly. That's R. Kelly legal, is, but that is R. Kelly. Uh, no, that's the way of the world. Well, though. it ain't really R. Kelly because he ain't go under All right. All right. Yeah. My bad, Pop. Yeah. I ain't call you. They just R. got Kelly. older men who like younger women. The majority of the men I know like older women. Yeah, I, just, I mean, younger women, <laughs> older men that like younger women, this, this, and it's the young ones that like the older ones. This is my first time on the younger train. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. And it, I see, guess what? It's good. It's good for me. Yeah, my last relationship kind of <laughs> effed that up for everything. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want no youngster. I don't want no juvie. I don't no. want you to stay in your lane. And mm-hmm. then be the most aggressive. I'm, I'm in my section yesterday chilling. I see a bunch of little kids under the thing. Little right. thing. I'm going to holler at my homeboy. He didn't get a little photo shoot for me. Yeah. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> You know, I saw you. And, <laughs> and I, I get to the car. I got to pass these kids in my own world now, playing mm-hmm. on my phone, doing my thing, just thinking about what the next move going to be. Right. And they got to, the little boys going to holler, God damn that <laughs> ass, you mother. I turned around so mad right quick and checked them. <laughs> Who said that? It wasn't me, man. One of y'all said. Miss Parker? You disrespectful. <laughs> Don't say that. Miss Paul. And where you come from, who your mama is. Cause I won't go down there and tell her how you playing with people. Do yeah. that to nobody. Boy, I'm grown. Man. With a capital G. You said that booty grown too. I don't give a damn. <laughs> they these, they like that. Hey, that's that one they say even white boys got to shout. You Baby got me? back. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> So, but, man, hey, man, tell me about the weekend, man. Tell me, tell the week, me. The, the week. week. Okay, so. Let me stop shortening your shit up. Yeah, Seven let days. Me, yeah, let me get that. Let Logging get on that. to shut the fuck up, JohnnyDomino.com right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I want to just give a shout out to uh, the mayor's uh, State Hope for Healthy um, Division of, of the mayor's office. Uh, also, Baton Rouge Community Street Team. Right, right. Uh, Cities United. Uh, <clears throat> Like it was amazing. The the first the first um three days I was in Washington. Ooh, three. They got Washington, more. DC. There's more. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, in 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 going to Washington D.C., I had a chance to meet uh, a few like authentic people that's really doing this work that have their own lived experiences. Mm. Um, I met I met people like uh, Tony Lewis Jr. Who is um. Uh, his father is Tony Lewis. He was um, associate of uh, Rafa Evans. He was okay. one who didn't tell. You know, yeah. he was a stand-up guy. And because he was a stand-up guy, he ended up getting life. That's how I go for the real one. He ended up getting life in yeah. the federal system. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> their case is what is what um, changed the dynamics of how people do time. Mm. Rafa caught the charge, ended up getting caught up in, in uh, Louisville, uh, in jail. So, you the reason why you have to bump five every 15 minutes mm-hmm. is because of him. And that's the why the federal prison, you can't call back to back. You have to wait a while because he was running an organization from behind the walls. But he he, he was not a stand-up guy. I don't want to give no no recognition to him. So, he was really the uh, he, uh, a phone he, check, homie. He, no, he, he, he would be on the phone for, for hours. They didn't have a limit. You would just pay for the Oh, calls. he was so f- <laughs> Yeah. He it, was so raw on the phone that he the one that had to make, break it down for yeah, a little bit. It, it was, it, 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 in the beginning, it was just a, a you know, a direct, di- a, a direct collect call. Yeah. But that changed. Yeah. Um, uh, they do like basketball ups now. Yeah, 15 and that's yeah. it. Bam. Who got that business? Who got that big call? Hey, let me get out of you. I'm about to go over here. <laughs> that time, yeah. And uh, Tony, Tony is out there in D.C. Like he is the undeclared mayor of D.C. <clears throat> we walk through here, like we can learn. I want to learn all about you know the the policies, you know the legislative. Like he he's he's changed legislation for. 
uh, Washington and you know they get into the money though yeah and free and, the money yeah they get into the money though yeah. uh I bet they doing good work too when you yeah. free the money man anything can happen they 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 they, <laughs> they working with some money and they see the government is got by, behind them 100 percent mm -hmm. um Met another man named um, Booby. He had done some time in prison. He was also paralyzed at one point. Man. Like he 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 really he's really into this and he's really into self because before he did this type of work, he was told, you know, you can't be halfway in. Mm, yeah. You, know, you can't be halfway in because you're gonna cause you know other people to to slip up. They can't mm -hmm. respect you looking at you doing this that and other. You trying to tell them don't. So the person who shot him. He ended up um, reaching out to bro, like having a conversation with him. He said, he know me, I'm a man, I know him, he's a man. He know what I'm capable of, I know what he capable of. But right now to this day, I could call him on my phone. Mm. That's big. Because two, 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 two mountains will never meet, but two men will. Yeah, see, I got, I, got, I got some bullet holes in my body. Right. You know, I got hit in the heart and the lungs, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like... <laughs> I don't know how he did that. I'm just glad that's I don't God. know. I really don't know who hit me up. That's, well, that's why you don't I know. I heard and I checked a few niggas, but, um, you know. It was I, God. Yeah, it, it got away from me. Then I, I had Maya, then I kind of got on that money that money tip. I needed right. money for her then, so it kind of fell on the back burner and turned my hustle up. Right. You know, but, yeah, man. And you know what? I, I don't want to know, man, because. Ain't no telling what type of day I be on. See that that message was for me though, cause you can't that straddling the fence get you hurt on any level. On any level. I mean, it don't matter what you're playing. Right. And like even if you're playing politics, you can play both sides. It's gonna it's gonna bite you in the ass and, and, and at some point. You yeah. might get a short run, you might get a long run. <laughs> right. You went a long way, my brother, but you went the wrong way. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta respect what it be. So I'm gonna tell you something. Don't beat yourself up when you're trying to change either. No. You're going to fuck up, man. You're going to fuck up a couple of times. Just because don't make it a not, habit. Because it's not what you're used to. <clears throat> yeah. You know, it's uncomfortable. It's, it's not what you're used to. you used to moving a certain type of way. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's, it's, it was always second nature to you to do what you did. But when you're making a change, you got to... Everybody can't just stop abruptly and start something else. Shit, no. Cold yeah. turkey ain't for everybody. Uh, nah, because when I, I I smoked for 20-something years, and in order for me to stop, I had to have something Cigarettes else. or weed? Cigarettes. Oh, weed? I was a dope dog. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, the difference in being delivered and quitting right. is when you deliver, he takes the taste from completely from you. Mm. So I, my grandmother was a praying woman. She got up every morning and... Seven and we prayed from seven. We prayed at seven in the morning, twelve o'clock noon, three o'clock, and then seven o'clock. We all held hands in the circle and yeah. prayed. But thank you, Lord. Thank you. You know, like <laughs> every day throughout the day. So yeah. Coco, you hear what y'all about to be doing? Yeah, we about to be praying. <laughs> yeah. It kept it kept it kept us rolling kept, back in the it, day, man. But not just that. <laughs> Those same prayers from. Way back in the days when I was a little girl holding hands, we come up doing that. Two, yeah. three years old holding hands at, and, and be, giving now, God on. I got a theory. When you was mad at one of your people and you had to come pray and you had to hold their hands. Wasn't no mad. Wasn't no mad, huh? Wasn't no mad. All of that ended. That all of that ended. Like we 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 had we ain't had no bickering like that when my grandmother was alive. You know, it was a little, little bit of stuff, yeah. but nothing nothing that was really <laughs> internal. You know, um, but. Mama died, you know how that go. Yeah. My mama died. She she was the one that they called on after that. That you know how that go. Everybody, you know, go their own their separate ways or live their own life in their own bubble. Yeah. But um Man, I wanna tell people out there, man, some of y'all forgive people. Yeah, most of them, you got to forgive, man. Forgive. And it be hard because I ain't gonna lie, I was a grudge holy motherfucker, man. But you know, God bring you from all that. Check this shit out though. See, like, you got to realize Certain things you do in life, man, if whatever you put the most time into, that's what you're gonna be the best at. And it might be some free shit if you don't if you ain't paying attention. Right. Like minding other motherfucker business and shit like that. If you ain't a private investigator, man, you doing free shit. And if you do too much of it, if you do do it every day, if you take up plenty of hours of your day, guess what? You're gonna be the best unpaid private investigating motherfucker it is out there. Hating and carrying on and can't even monetize. Can't even monetize. Before I 
know I, I mind another <clears throat> business, nickel business. I'm gonna mind my own. I'm gonna find my own. For real. I ain't even about that. that. That's that ain't. That's what you coming to tell me about them. And another thing, don't show me no videos of somebody who loaded. I don't get off on watching people just high and ducking and you think that's funny. That's, oh, God, look at him. Uh, ooh, Excuse me. That ain't my thing. That person is suffering. Regardless if they the person who putting the drugs in their body, they suffering. Don't nobody want to grow up and be no junkie. Right. No, that ain't, nobody ain't set out to grow up to be a junkie. Right. You know, so prayers to them people. Mm -hmm. I will never exploit that. Like, I, I got upset with one of my people for putting a couple of people on on um social media who was hiding these are my little bgs these are my little homeboys man i he wouldn't answer the phone because he was on live i drove up there man get that down like don't do that that shit broke my heart because yeah. these people that i love and i know that they do what they do on their own time but at the end of the day let them people figure that shit out yeah, yeah. yeah you know talk to them be a big brother to them talk to them and you can't save everybody but that ain't love when you exploiting it what you, you know? know what I think that whole cycle you just told me, the whole little shit you just said, you got a nigga who, man, at one time, all of us probably was the yeah. tripping, but now you done grown and realized that, man, that shit foul. Yeah, that's, that's... That person going through some shit that, I, you know, a lot of, you really don't understand addiction is within everybody. You might 100%. be addicted to men, women, relationships. You might be addicted to being ice in a relationship, chewing, ice chewing, smoking cigarettes, yeah, you smoking might play weed, the, the PlayStation all day. Uh, we all addicts of something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, all have just, vices. We all got vices. So you learn not to judge, and you either stay away or help. But you know, we we from that damn Joseon era too. So I be understanding, but we you find with, out that ain't what you Joseon. That's somebody hurting. But you, I'm, what I'm saying is you got to understand the immaturity yeah. of that person who's filming. But thank God you did your part. What right. I feel like we all should do and you tug at a nigga and you respectfully tell him, like, say, bro. Don't do that. That ain't the way, fam. Let me tell you why. You know what I'm saying? It's with respect. It ain't no disrespect, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's the part of the cycle. Right. When you learn better, you got to go back and teach niggas who was doing what we was doing. In our immature days, you gotta sow them seeds back and show people like you can. It's fact, Dana. Some people just don't know. Right. Some people just don't care either. Though. They ain't been there. They ain't been through nothing yet. Too old. To, they too, too old to be so so <clears throat> freaking childish or un, in, in, don't care about other people's feelings. Like well, they don't care about the story. Yeah. Cause what they don't see is they don't see that that crackhead Marvin. Let's just say crackhead Larry. Whatever. Right. Crackhead Larry, mama old. And guess what? The siblings mad at Larry. He don't do nothing. He don't want to say. They don't want they worry about inheritances and all this other shit. But guess what? That's grandma baby. Yeah. So big mama love Larry so much. Everything Larry to every time Larry go to jail, she putting her coins together from a fixed income. She's selling shit. She bothering the other children. They're like, Mama, nah, he need to stay there. Nah. And she's but it's almost it's gonna kill her. Her right. heart. Right. It's too much pressure on her. She love her fucking baby. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So when you see them stories, the jokes from like, ah, look at this dumb ass nigga that got full of that dope and woo 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 woo. When, when you see it now, you like, damn, that's fucked up, man. Man, y'all give him some water. You know, you know it'll go bad when you done seen a nigga die in front of you. Mm -hmm. And you think a nigga high, a nigga sleep, nigga dead. Dead. Yeah, you, you, once you go through some shit like that, that shit don't be funny, man. You be bumping niggas and trying to wake niggas up, man. Give this nigga some water. Give this nigga something, man. You need to go home. You need to go to the hospital because you don't want to see it on your watch no more. It be layers to that shit and until you live long enough or go through some shit, you really be blind to it. I have enough empathy and compassion in your heart. Everybody not made up from that. <laughs> Again, that goes back to how people love. people. Some some people love off, off survival. Some yeah. people are surviving. They don't know how to love. You know, so just because we hood from the hood don't mean I can't fall in love with my people. Right. You know, right. Or, or don't have an automatic love for my people. Uh, but back to Washington, because you, you you said you was going to shut the fuck up and we didn't turn the... We didn't, yeah, I know. You, you, can't you know, I just be having a conversation with you, D, but I'm about to... Hey, look, why did I be seeing them you, man? <laughs> yeah, but... So uh, I ended up meeting Booba and a, and, a, and a guy named Reggie, and they, they doing their thing in there. Ended up, Tony took us to to um, uh, 
the people of the street, they suck like the Baton Rouge community street team. Mm -hmm. But uh, they got different little, like, it, how, if Baton Rouge uh, street team was, was expanding, they set up in every, they don't have hoods, they got wards. Yeah. So they set up in every ward. And um, we went to one ward, chopped it up with them, learned a lot from them, like getting the culture of what DC is. DC a lot like us. And then ended up going to the other ward, the fifth ward. And uh, I was like, you know what? Let's get on on feet. Let's walk through this bitch. <laughs> you know, I want to walk through the, the big hood. Dana came I want to see, yeah, I want to <laughs> see what's going on in this hood. So what's up, man? Let walking. me see if this shit similar, man. I'm just, yeah. where the easy town boys at in Washington, man. And, and <laughs> it's, it's, I don't care where I've been or uh, any city that I travel to. You can take me all the way downtown into all your galas, into all your your nice restaurants. Take me to the hood. Yeah. That's where I want to go. You know why? Because mm -hmm. I, I I recognize my people. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, the man, because we went through an Uber ride in Baltimore, and we wanted to see me. me it was me, Marquise, and um, the and, wild. Uh, yeah, we I wanted to it. see the <laughs> wild, how, how people's living in the West. <laughs> so we, uh, me, Marquise, and Squeak, and um, shout out to DJ Marquise. Shout out to Squeak. DJ Marquise, Sweet, and, and and also Cleve Dunn, and um, my dog, and uh, what's the other one? He uh, Kirk. Kirk, uh, oh, so. Kirk Shaw. <laughs> so, uh, the Kirk yeah. Shaw. So we we uh rolled through there and, and just seen what they had going on and um shit the ghetto is the ghetto everywhere you go. Yeah. Where you, you went on Martin Luther King? Get Martin Luther King. We we went up Martin Luther King yeah. Harlem Street. Uh, <clears throat> like it it just it just was nice. The driver said I wouldn't get out. Like I wanted to go there. But I just said y'all give us I wouldn't get out. You know. So you good in every hood, I did. <laughs> I ain't afraid. You can't be afraid. You know, yeah. like shit. If you round your people, you round your people. <clears throat> Yeah, but uh, we ended up doing that in Baltimore. How them um, girls were talking? I want to hear a Baltimore woman talk. Like Jess and Larry. Squeak met oh Jess. Oh, my God. Squeak met Jess. He, he, I love the way she talks. Um, two. 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 Few. <laughs> That's the, that's the, they put on the O's, they put EW's. Yeah. Yeah. I met a guy from up there. He doing his thing with, um, oh, shout out to Craig up there in Baltimore. Like he, he, he's the man who works behind the street stuff. He's the man who like does the systems. He, he's building and allowing the funds to go this place and he that got place. Good job. Yeah. He got a real good job that's and he's good down job. to earth. Like I, he takes me all yesterday, mm -hmm. you know, uh, doing his thing. Like you know, generally have a love for people, his people. Right. Um. They like we have Bad Rich Community Street Team. They have Safe Streets. Right, right, right. Yeah. And uh, when I say the people getting to it, uh, we've met people from all over for City Uniteds, and the City Uniteds brought different cities together doing this type of work. Mm -hmm. And uh, just just finding out from the 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 funders and. Uh, and they had funders in the room, people, billionaires, you mm -hmm. know, people who were there that, that met with the, the people who, who run the organizations and their uh, local city government. Uh, but met people from Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York came through. Them people had a bus. The people had a bus with their yeah. logo on it. They came through, like for real, and they pull up <laughs> in the hood. This is a resource. They got a studio in there. Free the money. You know, they got a studio in there. Erica Ford, the lady with the fro on here that I took a picture right, of. This lady right. been doing it. Like, she is a pioneer in this type of work. She's been doing this over 20 years on her own time, just doing mm, her thing. And they show big. up in orange. Every lady on that bus, every lady who jumped off that bus, guess what? Had an orange teflon. Like the pears. Yeah, no, no, orange teflon. <laughs> she... They had an orange bag, man. Oh, yeah. You know, so it, it, it just was it was just big to see how these people are moving and this work is being done. It's imagine you learn how a lot. many people I learned a lot. How many people were being touched that's in their communities by their dedication, mm -hmm. by their, you know, by their will to to want to change them. Yeah. You know, uh, so that was a good thing. Baton Rouge was in there deep. Every room we walked in. What up, Baton Rouge? You yeah. know, shout out to Baton Rouge. Ooh, you know, look so at we, the little, we, we was in there. Look at little Biara, man. We was in there. Like, I we, see you, we was bitch. in there. And I that, see. You. We, we cut up. Me and Boo Milton took pictures. I'm going to have to show you the pictures look, on the red carpet. 
Mm-hmm. We clown so much. I sent the pictures to my people. They was like, damn, y'all so bad rude. You know it. <laughs> little boo good energy, man. Yeah, cool little sweet. dude. High, vib- high vibrations. Yeah, he got high vibrations. <laughs> high vibrations. He, he intelligent, too. He just Very. talk. You know what I'm saying? He get to run that bill. I'm like, all right, brother. All right, young brother. I, I like him. You know what I'm saying? And he's a part of the City United. Uh, yeah. City United is, <clears throat> they, 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 they connected all mm-hmm. of the cities like that. And um, they focus on young leaders. Yeah. You know, 18 to 25, young leaders. They had a panel of the young leaders. She, our our uh, program coordinator, uh, Joseph, went up there. And I'm talking about sitting amongst people that was her peers in work, but not in age. And she sat up there and held up her own. Straight up, like Joseph. Like, they, they had to get up and clap for her. Like, yeah. it's, 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 you got to respect people wherever they at, however age they coming. Yeah. Because guess what? They still have stuff to bring to the table oh, me and you me and you in our 40s so mm-hmm. we have to start equipping and teaching our youngsters you know a better way and those find like minds yeah. we may have a 30 year old who on that man to stop the violence stuff like shout out to darius on um, knowledge no, tyson you yeah. know that man young he 28 29 years old yeah. and he still got a heart for this like he blend in with the kids when we at the school i stand out because you know my hair red and i'm oldest bitch but he 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 yeah, he's able. To, he, <laughs> he got that ass. The chair get on my nerves. The chair let her know more in the grown. See see us how you tell the old man to be looking. Oh look at him, Lord have mercy. Claude have mercy. Even the girls. I went to tie my shoe one day. I'm on the phone Damn. not knowing what I'm doing. The little girl said, uh, 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 "Ma'am, you can't do that over here." I said, "What?" She said, uh, uh, Baby. Turn that motherfucker to the wall. She say, oh, you got to scoop down. I said, I can't. These knees don't work like that no more. Ain't no more knees like Megan, damn it. Ain't no more knees like Megan, shout it. You're going to get there one day. I hope you do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, you got to look. Instead of, when you when you start dealing with grown folk on grown folk, right, it be a lot of arguing. Right. So what I think going to work, another nigga might not think going to work. And instead of us going our separate ways and doing our own thing, or eliminating some things and going through a process and working together, niggas decide to hate on the other nigga that's doing the shit that he doing. Well, it's because <clears throat> they go to hating because the money is going to follow certain people. That's mm-hmm. that's, a, that's a lot of the problem. It ain't ownership. It ain't ownership in this work, mm-hmm. but the people <clears throat> who not doing the work, but has the bigger name, you're seeing they're getting the most funding. Because they've yeah. been around a long time. Yeah. And, and you they know, know the system. They know how they it works. They know work. how to work it. They and they not how the to... they not the one and see just the thing. If if I got if you got a non profit, I'm gonna just go on record and say this, if you got a non profit or you ran for a political office and won, right? Mm-hmm. If the only people that will help while you in office was your friends, family, and your people, you failed the community. You went and took a community job and turned your people up. Put yourselves in a high tax bracket, and then you got up out of there and left the city in shambles. And that's my state. That's where we stand right yeah. now, though. That's you know. why our city is the way it is. Yeah. You and ain't it, shit. You and your little rich family, you know, go ahead on the backs of, of the poor and, and people who don't have the knowledge and the resources to get things done. Because you got to think about it. Even if it's out there, can they comprehend an application? Do they know what they check and when they check a box? Yeah, that's why that's why it should be systems in place, cause we have power. Mm, you know, cause I, I, you know, I get on here and say, man, f that. What's happening with this? What's happening with that? And and, and, and Sant was like, just just making noise ain't gonna get it. I said, well, I'm gonna make noise. Make noise anyway. I'm gonna make noise and tell somebody man. who has a plan to say, hey, let's collaborate with this, cause I'm gonna yeah. get I'm gonna get to the noise. I'm gonna expose yeah. it. You and know? whoever get mad and say, fuck you too. I, Guess that's, what? Okay, that's on that's you. a blessing. I don't fuck with them no more. Yeah, Good. I, that's, I see that's you, on bitch. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, sometimes you gotta put that shit out there, man. See, that's why I don't like politics because you gotta be quiet sometimes. Because it be so deep and it's so much quiet. verbiage, man. But you 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 don't want to ever mislead nobody. You know what I'm saying? Nobody. Not me. I that's personally. That's like the Amendment <clears throat> Seven. Man. That's like Amendment Seven. Like I, I've read the 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 laws mm-hmm. in in all the other states, and everybody's like, vote yes, vote yes. But and laws not written like Louisiana laws because of the Napoleonic Code. Man. So voting yes may actually say 
Okay, they voted yes to remove this language, but these people, not not a slave, now I can really put this slave in here. It could be worse, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, like, either way you vote, uh, we didn't win on that one. And then the vote, no, they're going to have to re, they're going to have to circle around and re, re, rewrite that And when they doing that again? How many years that's going to take? They say it may be the next session. It may be the next session, um. But the, the, the offenders, 85% to reduce your sentence mm-hmm. to 85% with uh, down to 75 for the first time nonviolent offenders. That was vetoed. It passed the state. It, I mean, it passed through the, the House. It went to the, you know, it passed the Senate. Mm-hmm. Governor Edwards vetoed it. Wow. And um, why he vetoed it, I don't know because he. Because it's there, money in prison. But not just money in prison. But I he he is, he has been pro prison reform. Yeah, he is. So, he, so, he, he bought right. freeing the money. Yeah, so it's He'll let a nigga out. So it's mm-hmm. obviously something that's going on I'll with that the, motherfucker that. He'll let a nigga the, out. Yeah, I, but it's something Second that's chain. going on with that bill. It's, yeah, it's, it's some language lot. that we don't mm-hmm. understand. Yeah. But somebody <clears> told me this, and this made a lot of sense to me, and this comes from a person who's incarcerated, who is incarcerated, currently incarcerated. Mm-hmm. Shout out to all my people that's locked behind the box. Free the money, man. Yeah, free them. Mm-hmm. Um, all those who not child molesters, Oh, oh right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so, uh, uh, mess over the elderly. Oh, but, mess over the children. Yeah, yeah. y'all keep them funky motherfuckers in jail. So, yeah. uh, he told me, he said, have you ever really followed the money? They have people who, mm. they have people who say freedom and say, you know, <laughs> prison reform. He say, but it would never be completely a reform of prison because Louisiana is number one in the nation for incarcerated people. Facts. So they say that you know, is no is 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 no um they spending money on each prisoner and this, that, and other. They aren't even any workers to do the work who in prison. They don't even have too many correctional f- guards that's coming to, oh, to yeah. jail. So I mean coming to work. So he said, check this out. You know how much it costs to, to house an inmate in Louisiana? Like 81000 A year. A year, yeah. To, 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 it's not 81000 it's like 40000 Oh, 40000 Like yeah. between, it depends on what facility you get, this, that, and the other. Like 35000 mm-hmm. 40 thousand a year. Mm-hmm. So you take that and multiply that, not by the day or the year, their sentence. If they got a life sentence, multiply it by 100. Multiply that amount of money by 100, which is the years, and calculate every prisoner in the state of Louisiana. Right now, Louisiana bring in almost $7 million a year in inmates that's in prison. They bring now that. That's, that's off a of commissary or that's from no, government funding? No, that's from, the, that's from what they're paying. Ooh, to house of, slaves. To house. So you a slave master with somebody yes. else paying for the slave's care right. that's making money off the slave's work, that's selling products and making money off what the slaves make, and they still got people who can't get their dumb ass in a room and write down on a piece of paper in slavery on all across the board. Right. Abolish and end, not with no except, no exception, right? right? Involuntary servitude. No, end it. And, but the, what I was getting to was mm-hmm. that's why you have so many billionaires and millionaires that's investing in prisons. Mm-hmm. But here in Louisiana, we only really have three prisons. Three pr- three prisons. The rest are satellites. We only really have three prisons that actually have programs in them. That actually oh, have the inmates um, DCI, active. DCI, Angola, and um, Hunts. Hunts. Yeah. That's the only yeah. three. The other one's a satellite little camp. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So imagine the over 5,000 men that's in, that's, that that was once in Angola had to be moved because, like, over 600 of them was moved because correction officers not there. So they don't have manpower, so they send them to other little facilities like Alice Correctional Institute. Because working the there, you locked up, too. You, you just go home yeah, at night. Mm. But That's just strain on a, on, a, on a civilian. But the reason why they sent them there is because they're in smaller country towns. And that is that person, the people in that area, that's their commerce. That's mm. the way they, they pay their bills. Mm. So that prison industry in that area is... Driving is, the is, community. It's the commerce. It's somebody that they 
Um, who that is? It just gotta be some of us, somebody for us. Mm-hmm. Then I'll go. You know, and uh, and the the money, the money uh, that's a part of that comes from private funding. You know, it comes from private funding, and that's the reason why we aren't um gonna ever get away with 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 the with the incarceration. You know, hopefully our rates will decline. Hopefully, you know, that we'll be able to move forward and free those people that's in there. The 10 to 2 law was, uh, you, you know, on. was, a, was abolished. The 10 to 2 law was, was um, <clears throat> not abolished. The 10 to 2 law was voted down on. So, uh, you know, and and it went to retroactive. They, mm-hmm. they put it in place, but it's not for anybody that's been incarcerated before 2000. What you talking about? I missed it. The 10 for 2 law. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The ten for two, you know, they voted for it, but it's not to free those that's in that's already incarcerated. It is for <laughs> those who come in now retroactive. They, 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 they it didn't pass. Well, so some of those people that's incarcerated, that they, they had a, a jury that wasn't unanimous, but they had the ten for two. Right. They can't. They don't get a retrial for that. You know, and and because um, it's gonna free too many people. It's definitely gonna free too many people. Free the money. And um, like our district attorneys, like we we need to we need to we as people need to have a conversation with those who are in leadership. We we pay their we we pay their we pay their their salaries. Mm-hmm. They work they work for us. Right, right, you right. You know, uh, civil it, service. Every, anything that's uh, in respect. You know, having a, being able to have a conversation with them about not everything that's wrong, like you did this, you did that, but coming yeah, together yeah, I, and saying, okay, this is what's being done. What we need to do. This is this is what we need to do. This is this is the terms I need. Tell me what you can do. Right. Tell me what you can do for me. Mm-hmm. Or if you can't do it, send me to somebody who can. Or if you can't, if you don't have nobody who can, we need to create something. Mm-hmm. We need to put something in place for these for for this to happen. Yeah. Because. Uh, I, I've met so many people who don't have people on the outside, don't have a support system, mm-hmm. don't have those loved ones. I, I, I saw something, and, and you and I are going uh, to see this. It's called the visiting room, and these all inmates that's housed in Angola. Mm-hmm. And it's telling, it's giving a glimpse of their story. It's telling their story. It's telling about, um, you know, their experiences. And one man went to prison at the age of 16 going on 17 and, and when they t- talked to him he was 80 something years old Ooh. and he was like well, what, 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 are you a threat to society he was like no he had, the man had spent his entire life mm-hmm. at 80 years old frail body and guess what everybody that was oh, he never made kids he never you know he mm-hmm. everybody that was his his family was dead it preserved him to outlive his people. You know, well, not just preserving outlive his people. He have nobody <laughs> on the outside to actually check on him. So the state is mom and his daddy. Him. When he die, he's gonna die and be buried in Angola. And look, when we went uh, on that tour, me cowboy, big big baby, somebody else. I think yeah, that was me cowboy and big baby. We took ten boys to Angola, and uh, man, you know I ain't never had been up there, D. I talk to people up there and Joe's my family all day, but when you go in there and they shut the way they do that tour, it make you realize like, man, some of them dudes really not ever finna get out there again. They gonna even get buried there. Cause when you first go to through Graveyard. they show the work for workforce diversion program. That's people who coming home, you know, just to like to give you a little taste of that bitch so you go ahead and say you don't even wanna do this no more. And uh, the next part they show like some regular cats, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, the people will be doing the jury, making stuff. This, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trip you out about the whole experience, right? Now, you talking to all the, all the inmates or whatever. Now, you ain't going in the jungle where it'd be ugly at. They ain't take them over there. But you go around to the next part, they take you to where, like, it's some old, old men, like you talking about, and they get t- taken care of by the inmates. Hospice. Hospice type thing. That's in the, they that's- dying. It's, it's me, big cowboy, and ten children walk in the room with with uh, whoever was bringing us around, right? The, I had an old man laying in the bed, dying. He was just looking in the air. He ain't blink, he ain't move, he ain't, he dying, right? He he on his deathbed. Then the next thing, you know, that mess you up a little bit. You like, damn, pops, man, he might well let pops get the hell up out of here and go lay down on the outside, looking at out the window or something. You know what I'm saying? But nah, they need a jail nursing home. 
nurses. They big business, and they ain't gonna. They, they, they don't want to let nobody go. They you know it. what I'm saying? But they ain't no damn nursing home. Them niggas still locked up like they can break out of something, man. They, they, they that nigga need, couldn't run to the bathroom, man. They need. God bless them. They need. Our laws need to change, man. They do. Like Louisiana, but look, I want life finish, is life. Now, now, hold on. I want to finish telling you the last okay. little part. Now, you see him about to die, right? They take a nigga to the Angola graveyard. And they got fresh holes they digging. Like a nigga be going that bitch whenever. You know what I'm saying? So you like, they know. that part there, like, that made me feel like, damn, your family ain't, might not even get your fucking body. You might not have family. And they can't come up here and, you know, do the ritual things or whatever, whatever. But uh, that's crazy. Coco, close that door. I just close that door and lock it. She not coming back in? Yeah, she is. She putting that uh, stuff well, Don't on. lock it. She no, she has, she ain't oh, okay, well, yeah, like yeah, but, yeah. Uh, That's ghetto ways, y'all. Excuse yeah, we ghetto. Us. We, we, be we ghetto, just got ghetto you know. ways. It is what it is. It ain't, go, ain't nothing gonna stop. I love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yeah. But uh, that shit heartbreaking, man. It's, it's really, really heartbreaking. It is, man. And then a lot of people be having an opinion and be, you know, jail ain't something you wish on nobody except a certain few. I don't care about Drug sex dealer. offenders. Well, no, I don't, yeah, drug dealers are my friend. I them. trust drug dealers more than I trust a lot of people, and I trust crackheads more than I trust police down here. So that's where it's at. Some of them you can't. It's just like any other game. Some crackheads you can't. Some police you can't. I, but I trust drug dealers to the fullest, fullest extent, and I don't promote drug dealing. I think you need to stop because it's a dead end street. It is, and it's a it's a trap. You. You ain't, you ain't, it ain't never gonna go all the way right, and and sometimes you be doing it wrong, and you last long while you're doing it wrong, then you get your mind together. Now you start doing it right, but now you done been in it so long and you're so strong that niggas start hating on you. I done seen plugs hate on niggas on them. Oh, uh, like my cousin say, shout out the bird out of the town. You heard me? Oh, you bird? Okay. Yeah, my do- I love that nigga. Plug music. go to hating when you get your own kitchen. I'm telling you, man. And then it be like it be weird shit. You don't ever know what be what. Then like if you fucking with a female and she been eating good, you been roof christening it and shit. Like we do that shit. We order that shit every other night because I'm papered up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So she living a certain way, but now me and you don't get along. We can't see her eye to eye. We be bumping heads, and instead of we act like idiots around this mug, you know what I'm saying? I just go ahead and bust out. Man, that girl called Crown Stoppers. See, when you get with the other chick. Yeah. And she raw to her and she see them them late night eating eating crazy, Sullivan's on a late night, whatever. Just order that shit, man. Two, three hundred dollars, yeah. She calling Crown Stoppers. I've seen it happen before. You know, niggas do a lot of telling, but shit. It be women telling too, man. The game's so rigged. Ain't nothing like it's a so, star woman. Man, before you get to that ten thousand dollar mark, you gonna have something on your ass you don't want. Whether it be female, the people, you, if you spend bad, you put the IRS on your motherfucking trail. Begging ass family members be a lot of niggas downfall. They know you always got it. They won't borrow it every time they see you. Nigga, I done had to help you with the same light bill four months in a row. You fucking up something you somewhere. Your ass, my boy. Then you see a nigga online smoking weed. Bitch, you got me fucked up. See what I'm saying? That's real life shit, though, D. Like, I done seen it, man. Don't don't come try to get your business shit straight with me after you done parted up all your motherfucking money on Hennessy and weed. Yeah. Priorities messed up. Pri- priorities tore up. That's why I don't understand. You ever see a nigga posting money online, like, holding that shit to their ear and putting it, you know, and, like, just taking pictures with it and shit? They, they don't have no money because... I'm trying to, every day I try to, I don't eat, I, like, I try to look the same, like I don't got it. Like, that's my whole mission. I don't never have it. I mean, when you get fresh and you be popping, you put all your jewelry and shit on, man, niggas just look like you got 50 cent on you. Or like, <laughs> or like you can help them with their water bill or like, man, I know, look, bro, I know I don't even know you. <laughs> See my old friend getting fresh every day? Hey, I want a nigga following my DM, dog. Who be getting fresh every day? I'm talking about raw shit. Tell me a nigga ain't all oh, bitch ain't coming your motherfucking DM and say, man, my cheering is this, this, and that, and something happening, this, and that. Now I don't mind helping nobody, but I am scared to death of that internet, man. That internet's so fraud to me, man. I, I don't fool that internet. Everything look like a GoFundMe scam to me. <laughs> shit, what, what's with them hacking the page? I done had, I, one time I had four pages made in, in the 24 hour period. 
trying to be me. That I, I'm flattered. Mm-hmm. But it's only one big diner. Yeah, I'm not gonna fall in your Out of DM. Easy time. If they make a fake page talking about filling your DM, asking for money, that's a lie. Yeah. I got so many things that I, mean, I would rather do, or that I would do before I, I would call one of my friends and ask him for some money before I get in my, anybody DM and say, "This Domino, I'm ten dollars short on it." No, man, don't give nobody no money talking about they with me. Unless you see me on their page and I got their number in my bio and I say that's my manager or some shit. Oh. Right. That's my little cousin. Get him a change. I ain't finna ask nobody for nothing, man. I like to hustle my way out of things. Not big. Big and not a hustle. Yeah. Man, we got to get that word for the day, huh? What is the word this for the day? This was a wild show. What this show at? was because I was late. Running late. Got Coco here. She ain't in school. We thugging it. <laughs> Uh, just it just was it was just bad. I woke up a whole hour later than what I normally wake up. So thank y'all for tuning in and 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 you know being ready for the morning show when the morning show wasn't ready for the morning show. All right, I did one that I know. This is the biggest word that I learned that I found on my own. Okay, it's called bribing nagging. What the hell? <laughs> I would never use that in a sentence. What is that bribing nagging? Me either. What it's is just, that? Look at it. It means giant. It's a big ass Rob word that just means ding big. Nagging. 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 Let me see how they say Rob it. Dan Nagging. This is what I be doing too. My brothers, don't be scared that you don't know how to pronounce this shit, Jesus. man. This shit wasn't that Glen Oaks or Bel Air High, man. Rob Dan Nagging. Rob Dan Nagging. Rob Dan Nagging. Rob Dan Nagging. <laughs> Coco, Brob Ding Nagging means giant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that means uh, clowns wear Brob Ding Nagging shoes. I would never use that word. That mountain is <laughs> Brob Ding Nagging. Yeah, at the end. It sounds better at the end. <laughs> that oh. booger that fell out your nose was Brob Ding Nagging. That man <laughs> That man is child. Yeah, man. Look, man, uh, she held it down while you was gone, she man. She did. I she didn't get a chance down. to see the show, man. Yeah. I was, I was, baby. I was all over. And then they had a, where we stayed in the hotel, they had a club directly across the street. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, no. I, I went in the there. The niggas was on your D. Uh, what happened? How it went, man? <laughs> went in. Coco, go sit down. You making when noise, I, girl. When I, went, when I went to Washington and had to walk to the street before I could get to my place, they said, yo, yo, yo. Yeah, yo. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. And Excuse I'm like, me. oh, okay. <laughs> like, they really ain't scared up here. Yeah, fuck I that. hollered the North, and my people was like, the North? We are not North. We are South of the Mesa Dixon line. Right there, I was like, huh? oh, okay. They say they're the South, too? They are the South, but they don't be claimed by the South. The South don't claim Washington. And Baltimore is Washington too because it's below the Mason Dixon. I heard that. You heard they, that? They load that. Two. If <laughs> we got you, we got you talking like uh, just hilarious. Week, man. <laughs> a whole week. Uh, when in Rome, you do what the Romans do. <laughs> well, Yo, tell me man. a few them stories. Them joints, them joints, them joints was like raw, bro. You know, like man, like <laughs> real short. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man. Violence, violence, <laughs> Vi- violence. Man, who, who the, the hell, hell is keep that? calling you? Some fool. Let me make sure. Oh, I appreciate it. That's Being crazy. disruptive. Who doing that knowing what time we go down? Well, we is 10 minutes, 15 minutes late today, but still. Don't call us on when we, if you see us on live, don't call my phone. You can text it, but don't call my phone. Yeah. I'm just saying. But yeah, back to the regular schedule program. Yeah, it really has. But it's been is 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 it's been it's it's the energy. It just is what it is. I'm 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 happy to be back home, but we gotta get a lot of we got a lot of things to do. We got a lot of work to do, period. Yeah. It just overall, uh not even this trip, but just overall uh self examining. The, some of the things that I've been through or some experiences that I've been through. In order to grow, you got to really be able to look inside of yourself and mm-hmm. say, this shit wrong. I need yeah. to fix this. If, if this keep happening or this way, this if this something that's doing, that means there's something in me that's causing it to keep continually happening. Yeah. So that means I need to step back and examine me. Just take accountability for me, what I'm allowing, mm-hmm. or just the way I react to things. So that's, I'm, I'm, I'm on that journey of uh, of uh, 
not coming into myself because I 100% know who I am, but learning how to do different things to get better results. Right, right. And a lot of it, uh, it all start with no matter how hard. What's up, Mark? Oh, that's my dog. M. That's, dot. <laughs> that's a beautiful story of turning it around. Yeah. That's my dog, man. I support anything Mark do. I, Lakeside. Mark, I need you to hit me up because I, I got to talk to you. It's very, very important. Please drop your info in the DM for me. I need to definitely talk to you. Your name came up yesterday. Mm-hmm. In, in, in a good I way. Need you. Solid, I need you. solid folk, man. Yeah, I need That's you, my Mark. dog. Check this out. A lot of stuff you'll find that if you go through this little phase, you got to hurry up and get out of it. You probably, some people who don't see the wrong themselves, extremely see the wrong in everybody else that's one thing that you have to fix if you find yourself too judgmental sometimes if you, if you live long enough if god allow you to stay long enough you'll start seeing like damn i, I was had a common denominator i was a common denominator right so you know you can blame uh all your baby mamas for this this and that or all your baby dads for this this and that but at the end of the day until you say i chose them people I allowed them people to stay as long as they did, and I did. I should have cut them people off sooner. That's taking your lick, you know. That's like niggas. You see, do somebody something dirty, and you like he ain't gonna do me that. That's my nigga. He gonna do you that. That nigga do you that because some shit just so dirty niggas don't do. Yeah. You could kiki. Ah, look what he did. That nigga that whoop whoop whoop. Until your day come, and then you like, damn. I, I never thought he would have did that. Done. How? Yeah. He did it to his other 10 friends. Yeah. yeah. You know, how? Yeah. That's what they did. Yeah. That's that's in them. So I be checking myself a lot, man. So, you know, once you get to doing that, a lot of things change because when people tell you something about you, sometimes it hits you hard and it hurts your feelings. But when you know yourself and you've been checking yourself, sometimes you see that shit and you be like, nigga, I know. <laughs> I'm working on it. You know what I'm saying? Right. It don't even hurt the same because you was, you already acknowledged that you took accountability for it. And I've also learned this. Even even like with my kids, my daughter sent me something one day and I t- I'm talking about I cried down there with a depression. Mm. She sent me and it was it was it, I was I was having a hard time and, and you know just kicking my own self down and my daughter sent me a meme and it was a, a elderly it was it, it said if I could do one thing in this world, I would go back in time and be the mother that my mama needed. Mm. Man, I cried and cried and cried. I'm tearing up now, but I'm, a, I'm, you know. Hold yeah. it in, G. <laughs> <laughs> but, Real nigga uh, cry, man. Yeah, but. Uh, I cry on certain movies, Dan. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I still cry on the color purple when daddy's got so See, daddy, hey. sinners have songs too. I want y'all to go see if y'all as pussy as me, all right? Check this out. Coco. The oh, movie Coco. Oh, Coco make me cry. The cartoon thing? Yeah. yeah, that shit made me cry. I ain't seen it yet. But look, go watch uh, From Scratch on, on Netflix. Right. Man, shit had me in that bitch boo man. Yeah, t- <laughs> uh, what, the Pursuit of Happiness had me crying? Oh, that bitch had me crying. Uh, uh, Color man on Fire. Had, had me cry. Yeah, Man on Fire. Oh, man. Oh, uh, yeah, Denzel He Washington. loved that little girl, boy. He did. Yeah. He did. Nigga, <laughs> Yeah. I'm smoking everybody. I love that movie. That's my is, favorite cause, movie. Because, yeah, you, you let me down. Yeah, I, let, I, I let her down. Man, he was an uh, assassin that didn't have love for nothing, his, even his life no more. And but he, he love found love, child. and that little girl found seen the beautiful parts of him, man. That nigga went nuts. I love that. That nigga want to go watch that bitch. Dakota Fanning. Because guess what? Heart. I'm going all out behind mine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't give a fuck if I just left her. I could be pastoring. <laughs> You know, I don't care what's going on. I'm going to protect my family, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit automatic. Men provide, we protect. If you're sitting on your ass and you ain't pr- providing, then you get, and you're protecting, you're only doing one part stuff. Well, you better go pay some bills, man. That's how you stay out of beef. It's hard to get into it with a nigga at work. You're going to get into it with an employee before you get into it with a op, and that employee shit don't go nowhere. What a boogie. It just be, fuck you, Bob. Right. Fuck you, Bob. Girl, sit down. <laughs> I can't stand that motherfucker. Like, I think he ate my lunch. <laughs> then they start. Man, did you see? Just, just, did you see where a woman sued a man? He went to jail for peeing in her, in her coffee, uh, in her water, putting his putting his penis in the, in her water, Ooh. and gave her a se- gave her a sexually transmitted disease that can't be cured. So that's either syphilis. 
or uh, I mean, that's either herpes, HIV, or uh, hepatitis, or something. He peed and put his wee wee in they in them people water, Man. and she she started getting sick and started feeling bad, so she started bringing her own water. She wouldn't go. She he was doing that in this lady water. Uh, for this water. Uh, jail ain't enough. Look, and. She put a little camera, like a nanny camera, and saw this man. She had, she had uh, her drink on her table, and he whipped his wee wee out and peed in that woman drink. Jail ain't enough, man. And, and imagine bringing your your partners a sexually transmitted disease and ain't been cheating. And ain't been cheating. Ooh. You don't know what effects that lady had. Jail ain't enough. You don't know what she went through. I still wouldn't want him to be a slave. He was white. Oh, that's some of my Oh, okay. You know we wasn't peeing out, putting out wee wees and stuff with people. <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared of everybody. I don't trust niggas do so much weird shit saying. these days. Like, where they the are fuck? Widows. John, where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> you, they definitely Why'd widows. you do that shit, nigga? You was acting normal for so long. And the bullshit just came out. You had to pull your dick out and put in somebody's cup. Why you hate somebody that bad? I don't. I can't say what I want to do to this guy. Like you can't. You you. I just was on some peaceful shit, day and now I'm on some bullshit. See what I'm saying? Man, that dude, bro, that's horrible, bro. They got three of them. Um, that's out right about now. Uh, Mark to go check out the Emmett Till movie. They got three of them that's out right about now. They got one that's on um Hula. They got another one that's on. Um, Hula. It's Hula. <laughs> what is it? I always say the day everybody laugh when I say it. Is it Hula? I think it's Hula. Hula. I think we got to find out now. Uh, I'll be saying Hulu. You say Hula. Hula. <laughs> Hula. I just feel Hula. so country saying Hulu. Yeah, you got a little Baltimore on. You got to check that few, two. Two. New. I've been teasing them so much. I been teasing them. Oh, I've been teasing them people so much. <laughs> I love it. Okay? Uh-huh. I want to hear just hilarious talk. But look, Dana, J. Brown, that is some crazy shit, man. And, bro, look. You going back to the wee wee? No. Oh. We need to get away from that. We need yeah, to get away what? from our. What's, what you talking wee wee get you in trouble. Yeah, oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wee wee is in trouble. Woo woo, wee wee, that's some bullshit. <laughs> that's a dirty nigga, man. And then he knew what he was doing. He was trying to pass what he had. Man, he hated that woman bad. Well, I need to see what's going on. So uh, next week we're gonna have our stuff together. I've been out of town. My JPay got deleted, but I've, I've been out of town. I had to restart my JPay account. So uh, all, all, all y'all loved ones that you know, some real ones. That's, that's doing time or whatnot. Tell them hit me up through my JPay. They can find me, Dana Wimbush, DCF First Lady at Yahoo.com. That's how they can find my JPay. Or y'all can DM me and, um, you know, give me their DOC numbers. I, I love to hear their stories. I love to, you know, uh, highlight them um, because they may be gone, but they definitely not forgotten. They, uh, you know, they in y'all hearts. They 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 just out of sight and out of mind. They but, will they was a wild one. Out of sight. It's a little Halloween ass show, man. It is Halloween, but guess what? We ain't finna, we ain't finna give no uh, honor to the devil on his holiday. <laughs> None of that. <laughs> this the devil holiday? Oh yeah. This is the this whole season is the is the pagan season. This whole season. This whole season. <laughs> w H O L E. Entire then. It's whole season. It's it, it's always whole season. But this entire season, you know, from from the the latter part of September all the way up to like the end of November, going into December, this 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 is the witches this the witches time. This is when they did most sacrificing. Mm. So Halloween was just birthed out of that uh, with the Catholic Church and mm. you know other things that put stuff like that in place. Uh, the Romans, you know, the stuff that they did. I like Halloween. Like if I like Halloween, that make me evil. You need to do some self evaluation. Uh, why? I think it's cute. Okay, I, I don't. Once you learn the, the real, real, the real, What's real. What's the murder history? rate on Halloween? I think it's lower. I, I'm not sure if it's lower, but we got two minutes left. We got two minutes? Yeah. I really want to look into that. I just think it's cute. We're what, just going to get what's the, mur- what's the murder rate? I don't care about the murder rate. What's the stuff that you don't see? See, people don't realize the this room that we living in, it's mm-hmm. not, it's, it's, it's the dimension. Ooh, say that again. This room we this living room, in. Realm. The realm. 
your R-E-A-L-M, whole accent the realm mm-hmm. of the of the what we living in mm-hmm. right now this is not even the true stuff that's going on it's stuff that you don't even see that's coming like they got arrows that's flying around in this atmosphere that you cannot see they got unicorns that look like Pegasus flying through here. Nah, you, you lost me on I this one. I know I did but, because we don't have enough look. time to really go in depth, but I lost you because of the realm. Yeah. There is a second heaven, a third heaven. It's some things that in this in this spiritual, in, in, in the spiritual realm, that you cannot see to the eyes, but it's going on around us. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's going on around us. You what think Christmas you, is? You, uh, pagan holiday. Don't believe I that agree. One That's of them. pagan holiday. I don't yeah. like Christmas, but I like Halloween. Yeah. I, but I'm not evil, though. I love people. Okay. I help people year so round. So you felt play because I said you need to self exam Nah, I need to see. Do I need to stop liking the shit, you, man? You would want to. Do the history. Do, read, read it. Because I love God. We only God. got four minutes, 40 seconds left, y'all. I love God. I thank y'all for tuning in. I'm Big Dana out of Easy Town. I love God. Just now see how he playing. He I love God. Like, you blasphemy. No, I ain't. I say I love God. I can't say I love God. Right, I can't shout him out. You doing like a, a preacher? You playing? No. Okay, you only I, got twenty seconds. They left. say I could be a preacher because Jesus ain't had no church. He did. I say see Jesus ain't had no church. Come on. <laughs> he can't get serious for nothing. I can't take none of this shit serious. Thank you y'all for tuning in to the, the Ghetto Waves Morning Show That's with right. your host. Jada Domino and Big Dana, he on one. We out. (laughs) All right, y'all. Take care, man. Thanks for tuning in. (laughs) It was a weird fucking... Was it?